a series of games that I did not make up. Here we are on a boat full of game makers, and I did no game shows, I just stole a bunch of game shows. And we're going to do that instead, starting with the game show that was on television for a long time. What's the name of the game show, John? Uh, I have here on a piece of paper that you just wrote backstage. Game one, What's My Line? What's My Line? So, John, can you tell us the, uh, can you give us a, a brief description for anyone in the audience who wasn't alive in the 1950s <laughs> uh, watching television? What is What's My Line? What's My Line is a game where there is a mystery guest. You don't know anything about this person? And we have three panelists who try to figure out what this person does for a living by asking yes or no answers. And how did you uh, choose this mystery guest? Well, in fact, this mystery guest chose me, John, after our first hot tub office hours, I was approached at the bar by a woman. And, no, it's fine. And she said, I have an interesting job. Please don't tell anyone it. And I said, I have an idea. Let's get you in front of a crowd. And uh, why don't we bring her out now? Her name is Jennifer. Jennifer, will you come? <laughs> so nice to see you, Jennifer. Did I misrepresent our meeting in any way? No. Oh, here. Please take the microphone. It's like a regular phone, but smaller. Now, is it? I think it's working, yeah? Yeah. Good. Uh, here's John Robert, our announcer for today. And our timekeeper, because there are some time limits to be observed. So, Jennifer, you said you had a very interesting job. You asked me not to reveal it. And I didn't to anyone. I have not mentioned it to anyone on this cruise. I've kept it a complete secret. We're going to have three of our 21st century definition of celebrities to come up here uh, just to begin. And we'll be bringing more and more up as we go. So why don't we start with, let's say, uh, Jonathan Colton, Molly Lewis, and Will Wheaton, if you're available. Yeah. Yeah. One of those people, an actual celebrity in the world. Jennifer, can you tell me, uh, if your job is exposed during this show, will it compromise you in, in, in your job? That, don't answer, Jennifer, yet. Sorry, that was one of the questions, I guess. Well, any question is a question. The way this... <laughs> Think about it. Think about it. The way this works, and, and certainly I will allow that question to be asked by you even, if you would like to be a panelist, we'll just move right along there, but, oh hello. Uh, hello the celebrities, you may use the microphone, you're all well trained in it. And the way that this game works is, here's Jennifer. Jennifer, have you met Jonathan and Molly and Will? Lee? Hi Jennifer. <laughs> would you like to, I think you should, you should stand up here with me. And, uh, it's a little awkward. Yeah, it's it's awkward. awkward. Yeah, yeah, you be here. You be here. All right, good. Now, this way we can all sort of see each other. You can turn to them or, or not if you wish to avoid their gaze. But these people in the front can't see me now. <laughs> what, if I, what if I do some podium comedy? And all these people are like, why? Fair enough. So. Pretty low. The way, the way this works, John, is I'll always be blocking someone's view of you no matter where I am on the stage. You see what I'm saying? That's been true ever since we became friends. Oh, okay. <laughs> So Jennifer has a job. You guys are going to try to figure out what that job is. And you can do so it. Well, not, 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 what? You can do it by ready to guess. Oh, you want to guess? Yeah. You can make a man guess? Sure, go ahead. It's very unorthodox, but... You saw the sort things off the heads of narwhals and polish it into uh, cookware. No. It's a great guess. But I really thought that you'd look at it. I'm not going to judge that one. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, yeah. Well, wait a minute. Now, can I just tell you what the rules of the game are? Yes. It's my one job. So, you did the right thing, you asked a yes or no question. It could be any yes or no question, including do you saw the tusks off narwhals or whatever it was. Since she said no, it then goes to Molly. Molly, if you can ask any question you want. If you get a yes, then you can continue to ask, ask questions until you get a no, uh, gaining information all along the way. Once she says no, then it goes to Jonathan, 
and then John to you as our bonus panelist. There is a strict 10 minute time limit on this because we have to keep things moving along. And if you don't guess by the end of it, it is up to Jennifer as to whether or not she will wish to reveal it. I know. <laughs> But, uh, and the prize for the winner shall be pride. Okay, so, John Roderick, would you please start the clock? Yes. I, I have a question. For whom? For you. Sure. Um, uh, on the classic television game show, What's My Line, the, uh, the, the line haver would, uh, d would tell panelists if their job involved uh, a product or a service. Yeah, but we have to change it up a little bit so that I can steal it. <laughs> but I think that that's fair. fair. I think that's fair. I did download an episode of What's My Line uh, when I was in the Internet Cafe in St. Martin, uh, but I didn't have time to watch it. So <clears throat> it will be fun to watch it later. And if we have time, I want to tell you a story about something that happened in that Internet Cafe. But right now, we really need to get to this game. <laughs> if the if the prize is pride, only Molly Lewis is not already brimming over with pride. She's the only person that could possibly gain from this. What are these odds? This is good. Yeah. higher for me now. Nowhere to go, but up. Um, so, I think that's fair though, if, if, since you are such an aficionado, Willie, of the original What's My Line. I do not recognize our current monarch. Do you want me to change my name to Mall with one L? Please, would you? Thank you. Yeah! Thank you. You're a so, great friend, Mall. <coughs> but the, so the question, and, we'll, and this will be a fair question, and the only non yes or no question we'll ask before we finally play this dumb thing, is do you what, make a product or provide a service? Yeah, does your job involve a product or does your job involve a service? My job involves a service. All right. And now we're really off to the races, right? Yes. Five. Molly Lewis, ask your first question. Are we at the clock? The clock is starting. The clock is starting. Molly, go. Do you work with animals? No. Are you involved with science and technology? Yes. Aha! <laughs> <laughs> you kind of get to ask another question. Yeah, that's right. You don't realize that you're being punished. You have to ask again. Shut up. Do you, um, does your job uh, involve uh, computers, not in the sense of the way everybody uses computers to, to use email, but does it directly involve computers? Yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> no running out the clock. Uh, do you yourself write software? No. John Roderick, over to you. Do you work for a government agency? No. Definitely not. Oh. <laughs> does your uh, does your job when you are performing your service? Do you perform your service for uh, more than one person at a time? Probably not. I'm going to allow you to ask a follow-up on that one, because I think it's... Uh, does your... is your job uh, uh, enabled by the existence of widespread high-speed internet? Yes. Does your job require you to uh, work from the same uh, basic location every time you perform your service? No. Are there certain things about your job that you cannot disclose to us for, like, NDA reasons? No. Are you, are you in the, in the, in the uh, providing of the service, are you responsible for generating content as part of that job? No. Go ahead, John Robert. Why are you giving me that face? You said no, and then you made that squinty face. I'm having a really hard time with that. Yes, no. Well, it's your job, man. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I think we do. Don't build a gym. <laughs> Jennifer, does your job take place on the dark web? <laughs> I wish. No. Um, Jennifer, um, do you work uh, for a, uh, do you, are you employed by a corporation? But big, simple questions like that are very helpful in getting ruling out Well, stuff. I did play this game professionally for some time in my youth. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty good at it, Will. What, what do we know so far? Science and technology, not involving animals. Not government, not, not corporate. Government, not corporate. Computers. Enabled by high speed internet. Um, yeah, but that could be anything. Yeah. Not necessarily. And enabled by high speed internet? We're all enabled by high speed internet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The job only exists. exists because high speed internet exists. That's right. Right. So it's presumably. I, by the way, I presumably this, support this kind of collusion. Presumably, this job involves the transmission of large amounts of data uh, in a way that would be prohibitive uh, before you were born. I'm not. I'm not <laughs> sure we know that it has to. That it requires as much of it as it is enabled by. High speed internet. Is that is that uh, is that correct? That's correct. Okay. Well, that was your yes to keep going. That was a question. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, that's that's question. No, it's my yeah. turn. It's my turn. You're out of order. No, feed me a question. What? You know, she's not. It's not a corporation. She doesn't not work a corporation. for a corporation. Who did you work for? The George you're saying? Um, <laughs> I'm not saying a theme. Um, what did you say, Daphne? Oh, it's because we're whispering. Oh, oh I'm sorry. <laughs> I misheard myself. Uh, well, I think you're making that sound. No. <laughs> no, thank you. Look, we're all here to have a good time, right? So if you're not employed by a corporation or by the government, are you self-employed? No. Good question. <laughs> we are now at five minutes. Oh, boy. Uh, not a corporation. Not self-employed. Did you already ask if, we work for, if she works for the government? Yes, yes. it is. The answer is no. What else? What else is there? <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to ask if she works for anything. It doesn't involve the dark web. I'll I'll allow one yell from the audience. Eight, eight hundred people. Yeah, that was helpful. Well, 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 you know, there might have there might have been some good uh, signal in that noise. Ask a. Nonprofit. That's enough yelling. Yeah. Do you, do you work for a nonprofit? I do work for. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So the the job the, the job that you do is is beneficial to humans in some way. Yes. Primarily. Yes. Okay. Keep going, Joker. Okay. Beneficial to humans. A non-profit, you work for a non-profit that is beneficial to humans doing a job that is enabled by the internet. Uh, is it related to, uh, to counseling of some kind? No. Hmm. I like that question of John. Good work. Thanks. Thanks, John. John Roderick, would you be more comfortable sitting down? Okay, good. Uh, is your job uh, of an international scope? Yes. Go get a job. Are you paid in U.S. dollars? Yes. Oh, you just bought yourself a yes. That was good. You're staying alive. <laughs> well, you know it. It's information. Uh, does your work, uh, uh, does it include life or death matters for you? No. Does the organization you work for as one of its uh, primary uh, goals um, disseminate information? Yes. Do you work for WikiLeaks? <laughs> no. <laughs> that was it. Yeah, I got there. Yeah, absolutely. Um, let's collude. Uh, I'm working on questions, guys. What do I do? I don't know. What I'm you can run down the clock. Go ahead, Jonathan. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Do you, uh, do you, do you, uh, do you work for Wikipedia? No. Oh, 
two minutes and 30 seconds remaining. Well, that's it. There's no other nonprofits in the world. <laughs> <laughs> and they're all wikis. Why don't we just name all the nonprofits and we'll get there eventually? Uh, what biases exist on this boat? <laughs> are, are you a founder of uh, the work that you do? No. Are you a specialist in the work that you do? Yes. Um, uh, is, is the, the, the number of people who do what you do uh, uh, less than 100? No. Does, does your job involve like telecommunications, like directly with clients? You mean phone calls? Oh, it's phone calls. Okay. <laughs> no. No. Uh, do, you, do you have a do you have a very particular set of skills that? <laughs> Ah. Uh, uh, and, is this a creative job? Is it involved with creativity or is it? No. Okay. Well, I mean, I, every job. Ask if she is directly creative. Yeah, that's what I, that's what I mean. You may ask the question, Jennifer. She said no. no she still says no. Still no. Did your job in some form? exist before the year 2000? Yes. That's where you guys are going wrong. Did your job in some form exist before 1970? Yes. <laughs> Did your job in some form exist before 1940? Yes. <laughs> Did your job in some form exist before 1917? 1917. 1917. Yes. <laughs> Did your job in some form exist before 1904? Yes. So, well, your did I ask? Hello. Did your Position with your nonprofit exists before 1970. Oh, I'm afraid we're out of time. Okay. Oh. So, and so that question will go unanswered. Jennifer, it's up to you if you want to reveal it or not, and it's fine with me if you don't. Because. I think that I should reveal it. Yeah! Now, before she goes, I just I want to say thank you again so much for being so game because you truly came up to me and said, Please keep this in confidence, and I have done the exact opposite. <laughs> and you, the, when Molly, when you said, do you work for the Church of Satan, as a joke, that was probably as close as anyone got here, because you forgot the story. She approached me. So Jennifer, do you want to reveal what your job is? And I really wanted to say that it does involve cats, but um, not technically cats. No. I'm the... No, sorry, please. Uh, I'm the digital archivist for the Ayn Rand Archives. Ladies and gentlemen, Jennifer. Good score. I have to say, John, as a former professional What's My Line player, I never would have gotten that. No, you were not intended to. <laughs> let, let me ask, is that, a, is that a secular job where she neither... It's an atheistic job. Well, but I mean, she does, does she endorse the work of Ayn Rand? Or Ayn Rand, pardon me. Or is she uh, simply an archivist as a... Well, I think Jennifer uh, was a normal private citizen who's been in the spotlight uh, long enough. If you wish to find her on the boat, you may ask her that question. Please. But, uh, let's just say, did you say that that's his new objective? That, thanks, Willie. Uh, I like it. I like it. I don't allow it. If you have read the bylaws of the Joko Cruise, you're not meant to approach celebrities. And now I consider her a, a boat celebrity. And, and, thus, and thus her appearance here has worked to her profit. 
It's time to play our next game. Ladies and gentlemen, we're